everybody, I'm Kimberly Turner from cookingwithkimberly.com and today I'm going to show you how to steam king crab legs. So I have like five or six legs here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it into a roasting pan. We're going to steam them in the oven. You could put it in a large pot if you had room, but a roasting pan seems to work better. So we're going to make um, a beautiful atmosphere here for these guys to steam. Okay, so I'm going to use some crumpled up aluminum foil in the bottom of the pan so that it kind of sits my crab legs above the pan bottom, okay? Okay, so it's all crumpled up and I'm just going to lay my crab legs on top of the foil. I'm going to add a couple wedges of lemon in the pan. That's gonna help with aromatics. And I'm gonna add a nice bay leaf. Now these are, were frozen, they aren't completely frozen anymore, they're semi-frozen. So um, these are gonna go in the oven on 400 degrees Fahrenheit for about 15 minutes. I need to add a little bit of liquid to this. Now you could do different things here. You could add water, which is what I'm gonna do. You could add white wine, or you could even add beer. That would be a nice touch too. I'm going to get prepared two lengths of aluminum foil that's gonna cover my uh, pan here. I'm gonna make sure that you're keeping all that moisture inside the pan. Okay, so add some water to the pan. You don't want it to come up to the, the height of the crab legs at all. But I'm going to add a good, I don't know, half an inch of water to this. And I'm going to completely seal this off. Really, really simple ingredients and it's gonna be really tasty. I'm gonna serve this with melted butter and I have a lovely um, rice dish I'm serving alongside all the seafood we're having tonight. We're also having some curried uh, mussels, make sure you check out that recipe, and boiled lobster, of course. All right, so into the oven goes the king crab legs and I'm gonna let those go for about 15 minutes or so, I'd say. Are you ready for king crab legs? Oh, absolutely. This is a wonderful dinner. Make sure you get your butter uh, melted. I have some extra slices, wedges of lemon too. Mm -hmm. Well, let's take a look. They smell delicious. Mm -hmm. Ooh, ah, oh. Yes. That's what's going on. Here we go, let's show you this. So these guys are done. Steamy king crab legs. I know you want some. <laughs> now these particular brand I got, they have already scored uh, shells on both sides so that you don't have to fuss with the shell so much, you can just break it open and really get to it fast. Mm -hmm. That's nice. a good idea. So let's put one of these on our plate and you and I are gonna try one, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. right. I'm gonna cover this back up until we all eat. Well, let's dig in. I'll take that, you take that. Oh, nice. oh the meat is nice. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. I like this idea Sweet. of opening it up. Nice, eh? Mm -hmm. Sweet and salty. Oh, beautiful. This is lovely crab. This is some of the nicest crab I've had in a couple years, actually. So easy. I don't need a cracker at all. Look at that. I'm gonna dunk. A little bit of lemon. Mmm. That's what I'm talking about. That's fantastic. Mmm. You gotta make sure you have enough butter. Mmm. Mm. Oh, so good. Mmm. Mmm. There's no nice way to do seafood. You just have to get in there with your hands. That is lovely. Now look at this, I'm gonna have the whole piece out. No cracker necessary. Love it. Look at that. Ugh. It's nice and tender. Mm -hmm. It's cooked just perfectly. You don't want to overdo it. It dries it out and makes it kind of rubbery if you go mm -hmm. too long. That's fantastic. Mmm! Wow. Mm. Look at your big piece. I know. Wow. I can even get the little, they've even cut into here for me. This is my favorite piece. <laughs> Lobster too. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, 
What a treat. Mm. Oh. Mm. oh my dear, that is so good. Mm. Well, that's how you do it. That's how you steam king crab legs. I hope you try it at home. Don't be afraid. It's easy to do seafood and really quick. So good. Really, really fast. I didn't have to do much. Not much prep either. Mm -hmm. Anyhow, that's it. Make sure you check out mom's website at ingridturnertoday.com. Follow me on Twitter at Cooking with Kim E with a capital E. Like the fan page at Facebook.com slash Cooking with Kimberly. My shows are on iFood.tv slash Cooking with Kimberly, YouTube.com slash Cooking with Kimberly, and you can find me syndicated on Roku. Come to my website at CookingWithKimberly.com and subscribe. Interact with us and let us know what's going down in your culinary world, all right? Be a champion in your kitchen and eat deliciously. Bye. Bye-bye. Oh, that's good, Mom. Mm. Thank you.